Hey everybody, Vicky here from Talesmith Trails and today we're doing a playthrough video of My Horse Bonded Spirits. If you know me, I will play any game that has horses in it. You know, one of those things in life which I enjoy doing. And uh, this developer is called Games Incubator. This game will be available from the 19th of June 2024, so be sure to look out for it on Steam. And we're going to have a new game. Essentially, you get given a ranch and you have to look after it. New game. We will have red hair. There we go. That's close enough. You can customize the hats, the clothing, the gloves, the uh, breeches and the boots. Let's go there. Go here. Nothing for the hands. We can have a sporty t-shirt, which is not white. That's too bright for us. Let's go that. Let's do the black. Um, there's no riding hats. And um, we'll have this hair. We'll keep the wavy hair. We'll have the name up here, Vicky. Um, turn around, have a look. We will accept. Yes, I want to start the game. We have a short yet sweet loading screen. Which is loading, I assure you. Birdsong and butterflies greet you upon arriving at your father's horse ranch. It is a little run down, but charming. It only needs a little love. Love that you don't have. You are here as punishment, after all. It's unfair, really. All you did was gamble away nearly all of your father's money, almost putting him in debt. He should have forgiven you, as he usually would. Instead, he sent you here. To teach you some responsibility. To help you with that, your father put you in the hands of Jackson, the manager of the ranch, who just so happens to be calling you right now. Hello? Hello? This is Jackson. Your old man told me to show you the ropes around here, but honestly, I don't have the time to babysit you. Tell me, have you ever had a dog or a cat? Uh, yes, we had two dogs. You ever picked up after them? Uh, pick up you what? Know, clean up after them. I actually trained my... Trained? I actually trained my dog to use the toilet. He even flushed it after he was done. Okay, listen. Obviously, neither of us want you to be here, so let's get this over with as soon as possible. Go find Robbie. They will help you find a horse, learn to brush it, maybe clean it. Then we'll call your old man and get you back home so you don't have to dirty your fingernails, aight? You don't have to be so rude. I'm being realistic is all. Now off you go. Some of us have work to do. Bye. So, yes. Okay, so apparently we have a gambling addiction or problem, and we have arrived at this ranch as punishment so we go over here normal wasad controls oh chickens don't kick the chickens um yeah to talk to robbie like that hey, you must be the boss's kid i'm robbie i'll help you get started uh hi don't look so scared horses are beautiful creatures they probably won't bite you right away haha <laughs> you might not know this but horses actually have a variety of personalities. Of course, some of them won't show it at first glance. So you'll have to get to know them a little bit better before they feel comfortable enough around you. Go ahead and pick a horse that you would like to get to know better. Bye. So now we can actually customize our first horse. As in Red Dead Redemption 2, I will call it Testificate. There we go, Testificate. And let's rotate the horse over here using our mouse. Okay, so we can have pintos, we can have solid colours, we can have dapples possibly, I'm not sure what that is. Different pintos again. Oh, spotties! I like spotty horses. Let's go with, let's have a look down here first. We've got like snowflake spotted. 
Oh, I like that. I do like that horse. Let's go with that one. You can change the mane, a chopped mane or a straight mane. Turn around or him round. Uh, let's have the short mane. I like the short mane on this horse. I'm going to go with... Because the body is white, I'm going to go with the white mane. I'm going to go with the white tail as well. The Appaloosa does have a chopped tail naturally, so we're going to stick with the chopped tail. Gonna have a look through here. The saddles, the leg wraps. Okay, so we can have a breastplate, a rein, and a tail ribbon. And I think we're gonna go with let's go with red. Red for the reins and the breastplate. I don't want a ribbon. Get rid of that. And I think we're happy with that. I'm happy with that anyway. So we're gonna accept this look of our testificate horse. An Appaloosa. Yes, I want to end customization. And we have a horse in our stable. Woo. Okay, now that you've picked a horse, you can safely give them a treat. A carrot is a good first choice. Horses usually like them, and they are very healthy for them. Or if you really want them to like you, a sugar cube is the way to go. So, okay, we need to give our horse a treat. Remember that your horse may also have its own preferences. You will learn what the horse likes the more time you spend with it. Now, go ahead and pick a treat and give it to your horse. Okay, we have to treat our horse. Uh, treats? Where are the treats? Treats are over here, in the barn. Uh, meet your horse, grab a treat for your horse, feed your horse, level up the bonding, and pet the horse. In here. Okay, we have sugar cubes. We have carrots. And we have apples. We picked up one of each of those. We're gonna go over to our horse. We're gonna open the door. Hello, horsey. We're gonna feed the horse a carrot. Select number two. You seem to like the uh, the carrot. We have reached level one bonding with our horse. We can pet it as well. There we go. Oh, Robbie is calling us. Hello, how is your horse doing? I don't know how to get on it, apparently. Oh, you want to ride your horse so soon. Okay, if you're feeling confident, then there's no reason to wait. Before riding your horse, you need to prepare it. First and foremost, your horse needs to be comfortable while you ride it. That doesn't mean that you should wash it every time, but we should at least brush it. Grab a brush from the stables and give it a go. Remember not to approach it from the rear. Okay. So we are going to brush our horse. I'm going to close the gate just in case. I don't know if they walk out or not. Uh, brush. I have a brush. Why do my feet sound like horse hooves? Anyway, clean the horse. We have the brush selected for position two in our little taskbar thing. Not taskbar. Um, item bar. There we go. Give it a brush. There we go. Oh, Robbie is calling us again. And hey, hopefully you haven't been kicked yet. How are you doing? Can I get on the horse now? Hold your horses. You first need to have something that you can ride on. You don't want to go bareback, believe me. Use your phone to buy a saddle. Okay. So we're going to pull up tab and we are going to bring up this here, the shop. We're going to go to saddle and we have a dressage saddle. Woo. That. Okay. The dressage saddle it is. Um, okay. We will go for that one, I think, the brown. We're going to go for a warm quilted cloth. I think the blue will look good. I'm going to go with the dark stirrups, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I like how you can rotate the items and the horses and the characters as well. $200. I'm going to go there and we're going to order. Are you sure? Yes, I am. So, okay, we're going to go out of here. So we need to get the saddle from the chest. The chest is over here. Very quick delivery. Open chest. There's our saddle. We're going to put it in slot number four of our items. And get out of that. 
And we're gonna head on back to our pony. Ponies! I like how you got your horse's information on the outside of the stall. Looks a little bit hungry. Okay, horsey. I will pet you first. Did it fart at me? I think it maybe blew its nose. Anyway, number four, we're going to add our saddle. There we go. How cool is that? We're going to get on the horse with R. Quest completed. Now what do I do? Tell Robbie that you managed to get onto the horse. I don't think I can ride the horse yet. Nope, nope, definitely cannot. So we're going to take off the saddle. Keep our pony comfortable. Um, I'm going to pet the horse. Close the gate. And then we're going to go run over and tell Robbie what we have done. Make her proud of us. Robbie, Robbie, look what I did. So you've managed to get on your horse? Great. Woohoo. I can see that both of you are still nervous, so I think it would do you both good to get even friendlier before we do anything more difficult. Spend time with your horse, and once you feel like you've grown a little closer, let me know. So I need to pet the horse again. Heading back over to the stable. I'm going to do what we have been doing, is petting our pony. Open the gate. Pet the pony. Uh, get on the horse again. Ride to the front of the stable using the Wasad keys. So we're going to put our saddle on. And we're going to try and mount. Uh, using R on the keyboard. Come on, hussy. Oh, hey, we're moving. I guess it guides you as to where you need to go as well. It, it puts up um, a little red bit of tape. Fence tape, let's say. We're just going to follow this around. Your horse is in great shape. Keep it up. Bonding plus... 30. Come on, test certificate. We can make it. Where are we going? We're following the guide and I think we're going to... Oh, okay. We're here. We have reached the lunge pen. Okay. She's doing okay. Or he. I think it's a he. It might be he. Could be a she. Change your horse's movement mode to manual. Okay, we'll press Z for that. E is speed up and Q is slow down. So we need to ride in a manual mode, which we've just finished. Change to a slower gait in manual mode. Q. Here we go. So slower than walk is the stand. And change to a faster thing, but we can't go up too fast because we don't have a high enough level on our horse. So ride with the default walk, which is just don't press any buttons, just let your horse walk. So we need to slow down, ride. No, slow down and ride without changing your horse's gait. Well, the only thing I can do is slow down, is stop. Hold S in manual mode. Ah, okay, I like that. So we're holding S, so it's like a slower walk. A collected walk, let's say. And that is apparently what it wants us to do. There we go. And then change up. No, speed up and ride without changing your horse's gait. So I hold the W. And it does walk a little bit faster. So that's probably like a, an extended walk, maybe. There we go. And now we need to exit the lunge pen and head back to Robbie and talk with her. Where's the exit? We're coming up to it. It's okay. So essentially when you have like the walk, for example, there's your standard speed and then 
If you press the W key, it will walk a little bit quicker. That's the extended walk. And then if you hold the S, it will slow it down to a collected, which is smaller steps. Extended means larger steps. And it's not in the game, but it's essentially what it's doing. I'm going to walk back to our stable with our pony. Come on. Testificate is a good boy. Stand, please. Thank you. Get off the horse. Uh, remove the saddle. What we need to do, don't walk out. I'm going to give it a treat, I think. Uh, number three. Oh, what happened then? Did you try and lie down? And I was on top of you. Feed the horse. There we go. Pet the horse. Right, leave. Talk to Robbie. I'm going to head on out. Chickens! Don't kick the chicken. Return to Robbie and speak with Robbie. All right. What a day. I think that's enough excitement for now. Go ahead and rest for the day. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Where am I supposed to sleep? You have your own little home here. It hasn't been used in a while, so there might be some spiders lurking in there, but nothing you can't handle, right? Oh yeah, no worries. Thanks for today. So we're going to head back to the house, which is over here your horse is in great shape keep it up bonding plus 30. Um, yeah we're gonna head over here and get some sleep and start the new day and see what tomorrow brings for us where's the bed why are all the doors open that seems very uh questionable go to sleep quest complete okay so we're gonna head back i guess uh we're going to strengthen our Strengthen our bond with the horse. We're going to saddle it, get it, get on it, and then ride it to the front of the stable, which is here, essentially. So I think we're going to brush it first. Select the brush. We're going to clean the horse, because that's what he said do. We're going to give it the uh, sugar, uh, sugar cube, even. There we go. It really likes those. And then we're going to get our saddle and put it on. There we go. So we're now going to mount up and ride to the front of the stable, hopefully without any issues. I mean, the steering's very good. I like the steering. I like the movement of the horse and the walk and the trot. Well, the walk and the extended versions. We've not seen the trot yet. Come on, pony. We're slowly getting there. You can now trot. Oh, we can trot now. Okay. I'm gonna trot. There we go. We're trotting. Can we do the extended and collected? Let's try. Yeah, that's the collected, which is slower. Press W. Yeah, and that's a bit quicker. Yeah, okay. That works. So it seems for each gate, there are three speeds. So you got standard, slower, and faster. Riding for a bit, up to 100 meters. And then we're going to go back and talk to Robbie. So I'm going to slow down. There we go. Turn around. Nope, I know. Can't go too quick. I'm going to head back to Robbie. And see what she has to say. Chicken! Fuck! <laughs> Our horse likes us. Right, stand still. 
There we go. I'm just going to get off the horse. And, oops, talk with Robbie. Hey, listen, I think we should move on to something a little more difficult. Uh, I'm ready for anything. I think we should try out the paddock. Horses can be frightful creatures, especially when they are ridden by someone they don't know that well. Thankfully, your horse is slowly warming up to you, so I think you can easily go and try out some jumps. Don't worry, I'll be right by your side. All right, do I need to pre What's that? All right, do I need to pre prepare somehow? It's really hard to say. Right, we're going to be doing some serious riding, so you should look the part. First and foremost, buy a helmet, then we can make our way to the paddock. Okay. So we're going to customize our appearance through Kion. We need a hat, I believe she said. Go. Yeah, wear that. Accept. Yes. And why do we need to customize our horse? Um, nothing there. We've already done the hair. Legs, nothing new. Trap tail, braid tail, nothing new. It's all the same stuff, so I'll leave the horse alone, I guess. You can really just tell how big the farm is now, huh? And the area outside of it is even bigger, and it's all available to us to ride. Well, that's cool. Though, of course, it would be a little early for you. You'll get there eventually. By the way, we don't just have horses on the farm, you know. We also keep chickens. They can roam freely, but they do like to get lost sometimes if you ever find one. Try to herd it back to the coop. Mm, okay, so if we find a chicken, we have to herd it back to the coop. Hello, chicken. Go that way. Because there's lots of chickens over there. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. Come on, chicken. Oh, I kicked the chicken. Don't kick the chicken. Where's my horse going? Test if can come back. Don't go in there. Come on, get on. Get on the horse. We're going to ride to the paddock. The paddock over there. Okay. Um, speed up. I'm going to trot over. And finish first obstacle course, apparently. Seems that every interaction we have with the horse, like riding it and feeding it and petting it, etc, etc. It does increase our bonding level. I'm going to head in here. I'm going to do this uh, obstacle course, apparently. Uh, obstacle course one. Confirm. Okay, so jump is space and then it's wasad. So we're going to speed up to a trot. We can't do anything higher than a trot. Jump. Perfect. Again. So essentially, you just got to line it up in the middle and press the space bar. Jump height, a new level has been reached. Let's do another one. Course number two with height, jump, uh, jump height number one and jump distance one. So it's pretty much the same, just different. Um, no, don't get off the horse. That was my fault. I pressed R. I shouldn't have done. I needed to press E. I'm going to trot. Jump. And hopefully, not fall over. There we go. It's definitely easier. Can you continue doing the courses? Because why not? Oh, Robbie is calling us. See, there was nothing to be afraid of. You did great. I can't feel my legs. Haha, <laughs> don't be so dramatic. Before we move on with your training, I have a favor to ask. What is it? I lost my plush toy. A little horse. I'm not sure where, though. Can you help me find it? I have a sizable collection of stuffed horses that I'm very proud of. Uh, the issue is, 
I think that the last time my cousins were here to visit, they decided to hide all of them around the village. That's not very no, nice. Be very cruel. Uh, would you be able to keep an eye hour of them out and about? Sure. Thanks. I'm sure you'll know it's my toy when you see it. Okay. Trot. We're going to do this jump since we were so rudely interrupted. Oh, we haven't we been interrupted again? Okay. Hey, I hear you're looking for Robbie's plushies. What? I was just talking with Robbie. How did you hear about it already? Did you put a wire on me? Don't think so highly of yourself. I truly have no interest in hearing you talk, ever. Listen, I'm trying to help you. You won't have to look everywhere. I've seen it somewhere. It's either somewhere behind the Farrier's building or behind Lungepen. Wow. Thanks, Jackson. You owe me one. Uh, now I'm out of sync. Jump. Bad. That's why you should never take a phone call on a pony. Jump. Perfect. And we're going to have to try this one again. Without the interruptions. Jump. Ooh. Jump. We will do this one more time. We have to be perfect. Uh, choose another course. No, we're going to do it again because we had two phone calls. Three, two, one. Activate. Come on, pony. Jump. There we go. We're learning. It's slow and steady. I'm taking these corners a little bit too sharp, I think. Jump. There we go. Two more to go. Last one. Jump. Oh, I missed it. My space bar didn't work. Oh well, not doing it again. Finish. Turn, horsey, turn. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. So what we are going to do is we're going to search for the pony. We're going to look behind the blacksmith's building and look behind the lunch pen. And also pick up the toy. So let's do that. It's our pony heading in the right direction at least. It's a nice little trot on. Do, 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 do. So I think as you progress through this game, you do unlock better riding abilities. Um, there's a sticker on a wall, but no pony. Just fair enough. Um, head over here to the other building. I do like it. I do like horsey games. And apparently you can go out exploring the big wide world. I'm going to go behind this building here. Find a stuffed pony. There's the lunge pen. I see it. It's behind the building. It's floating. I go down to a walk. There it is. Yay, we collected it. Oh, hey, you found it. Thank you. How did she know? Unfortunately, this is just a fraction of the whole collection. Though I am very happy that you found this one. This is one of the very rare occasions where I regret collecting these. Please let me know when you find all of them. I'll definitely repay you for your hard work. Yeah, yeah. I'll find your toys. I appreciate it, despite your attitude. How rude. So we're going to head back and talk with Jackson. Hey, it's me. Your dad called and asked about how you're doing. Don't really know why he called me and not you directly, but I guess it's now my job to be your secretary. I think I'm doing well. He asked about your horse. What can you tell me about it? My horse is amazing. Okay, but why? What about it makes it so amazing? Well, it's my horse. Listen, you better find out something more substantial about your horse fast. Or else I'm going to have to tell your dad that you've been riding a wooden rocking horse all this time. Okay. 
Call me when you know, but make it quick. I'm not going to wait forever, and neither is your father. Okay, bye. Moody. Come on, horsey. Let's head back home. I'm gonna go and talk to Robbie again. To find out what snack our horse likes. We'll go down the middle route, I think. I think that'd be quicker. Doop -doop -doop -doop. I mean, it is a pretty little game. I do like it. It has a little bit of a laggy moment every now and then. But, you know, nothing wrong with it. I like it. Horsies! Nothing wrong with horsies. Chickens! Right, we're going to go over and talk to Robbie again. Hey, oi! Turn down. Stand! Be a good pony! Cannot unmount here. Okay. Let me off. Cannot unmount here. Why can't I unmount there? We'll try here. Why can't I get off my horse? I don't understand. Cannot unmount here. Okay. What are you telling me? Do I need to go closer to the person? This was not an issue before. Come on. Cannot unmount here. Hmm. Maybe I will put the horse back and it might let me. We will try that anyway. We will try that. Oops. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Bit quicker, come on. No, nope, we don't want to stand. Turn, turn, turn. Stop. Stand. We want to dismount. Yay! We're going to leave the tack on the horse just for now because we're probably going to need it. It's just easier taking it back to the stable. And now we're going to talk to Robbie about a horse and its likes and dislikes, hopefully. Hello! Whoa! What a determined look in your eyes you have there. Tell me all about it. How do I know what my horse's personality is like? What a lovely question. I'm glad to see you're interested in your horse on a more personal level. Horses have very strong personalities. The best way to figure them out is to observe their reactions to different stimuli. Now that you're more confident in your riding ability, you can focus a little less on yourself and more on your horse. Try to give it different treats and see how it reacts to each one. Knowing what kind of food your horse likes is very useful, especially when you want to teach it something new. What kind of treats can I give it? Oh, there are lots that you can order from the store. Sugar cubes, apples, carrots, Buy a few and see which one your horse likes best. Okay. Looking forward to it. Woo. Bye. Okay. And head back here because we are going to have to talk to the horse. Talk to the horse. Feed the horse even. Give it some treats. But let's open up our phone. Go to food. We're going to add a apple. Well, one apple, one carrot and sugar cube. Go there. Order. Yes. Now, I think they get delivered here. They do. Right over there. Sugar cube and a carrot. So what's it going to tell me here? Open my horse's tab in the phone. Okay. Horse. So here it's got um, what my horse's character is like. And they are hidden perks. So we're going to try and find out what food the horse likes, I believe. And it should tell us. I'm going to go apple. 
feed it. Oops. I'm going to give it a carrot as well. Oops, I took the tack off. I didn't mean to do that. And the horse lied down. Horsey. Let's give it the carrot. Oop, we're having a jiggle. There we go. I'm going to give it uh, the sugar cubes as well. So we've given it one of each treat so we can find out what it likes or dislikes. And we're going to pet it, of course. So we're going to open up the tab again. Oops. And it doesn't like apples, but it likes sugar. No information about the carrot. I've got a message from Robbie. Hey, I see that you two are getting along. I'll say, I think so too. I feel like we're best friends already. And they are typing back. Uh, see if your horse lets you rub their belly. You bonded a little and it's a great way for them to like you even more. Plus petting a horse is so relaxing. So it's great. Thanks for the tip. No problem. See you later. So we're going to try that. We're going to pet the horse's belly. That's its face. Can I go to its belly? I can. Oh, it hugs us back. How cute. Ooh, and then lies down. Okay. Uh, go back to that tab, I believe. Let's have a look, see what Jackson has sent us as, as a message. This is Jackson. Use this number to message me. If something goes wrong, don't overuse it. Uh, I can say, thanks, Jackson. I'm sure I'll text you a lot in the next few days. Ha ha. And he is responding. Um, I told you not to overuse it. And I go, okay, sorry. And it's gone quiet. So, okay. And um, we've got Heather. Who's Heather? Hey, are you the girl that moved to the old farm. Uh, I can respond with uh, yes, but who are you? How'd you get my number? Or hello. Yes, that's me. Can I help you? So I'll go with the first one. You can see my name on your screen. It doesn't matter how I got your number. Uh, I just want you gone and your dirty horses. So I can respond with listen, lady, nobody wants me to leave more than I do myself, but it's not that easy. Or is this a prank? Let's go with the first one. It is easy, just leave and take those horses with you while you're at it. <laughs> and puts a one at the end of the uh, exclamations because she's so frantic in typing. Wow, you're really not a fan of horses, huh? You're annoying, leave before I make you. Ha, huh? okay, crazy. This feels like high school. Anyway, she shut up now. I don't know what all those noises were. So we've got to go and talk with Robbie. Robbie seems to know an awful lot about everything. And Jackson seems to be very moody. Like everything is too much hassle for him. I'm sure there's a reason. You're back. How did it go? Um, I found out so much about my horse. Great. It really looks like you and your horse are bonding. I think it's time the two of you go out for a nice long ride out in the forest. That sounds fun. The forest is the best place to see how your horse reacts to different stimuli in a natural environment. You'll definitely find out more about your horse out there. Just don't get lost. I'm going to say that there's probably no signal out there if I don't return to that. Call the police. You'll be fine. Enjoy it. I nearly even said that, right? You know? Yay, okay, so now we're going to go on our pony trek through the forest on this beautiful day. So I've got to take my horse for a ride. Simple as that. I see. Let's move the door. Let's. Where's my brush? Brush is number nine. Let's give it a nice clean, get it ready to go. And then we're going to put our saddle on. Complete with bridle and reins and breastplate. Don't you try and escape. What am I doing on top of the horse like this? There we go. We're going to mount the horse. 
I'm going to head out into the forest for our first little ride off the property. Which, it sounds so cute. We're having a trot. Chickens are over here as well. Chickens get everywhere, apparently. That's so cool. Have fun. Take the horse for a ride. So we're going to have to jump this here. Uh, jump. Perfect. We can now canter. Okay. It says canter, but we're actually galloping, it says on the bottom left. We do the faster one. And we can do the, the collected one as well as a normal one. So we can vary our speed, which is very good. Now we could do with the, the, the trot and the walk as well. So yeah, this is kind of cool. I do like this. You can have fun riding through the forest. Not so hard to get lost because of these little markers. It tells you where to go. Yeah, I like this game. I think a lot of time and effort has gone into it. You can tell it's not a, like a massive um, developer, a, a big name developer, but it is great. I love it. Anything more horses in, I'll play it anyway. And if you like horses, this is definitely going to be a game for you. Definitely. So now, now what we're going to do is take a photo. So we're going to get our camera out over here. And we can turn it around. We can change the filters as well. We can have filters. I'm going to have none. We're going to keep it. Oh, what's focus mode? Disabled or doesn't it do anything? Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. There we go. We can turn our camera around and zoom in. Take a picture and save it. There we go. We have a picture in our gallery when we were cantering that one time through the forest. Continue our ride and turn back to the checkpoint. Did I miss one? I missed one apparently. Let's go back. Wow, that was a bit of a distance away. Didn't even realize I missed one. Whoopsie. But it's more time we spend with our pony. We're going to slow down just a little bit. There we go. We went through it. And speed back up. And we're going to head back home, I believe. Go a little bit quicker. Extend our canter. There's the farm. There it is. Wow, okay. Quest completed. Oh, here we are. Jackson again. I'm sure there should be a rule about calling while riding. Hey, I have a task for you. Another one? You should save up your complaining for your dad. Sorry. Since you're going to be taking over managing the farm soon, you need to know where we get all of our supplies from. Both the blacksmith and the vet are in the village. Go and find them so that there will be no issue with that when the time comes to restock our supplies or when a horse gets sick. How will I pay for these things? Don't worry about that. How will I find them in the village? The village is small enough. Just look around it and you'll find everything no problem. Okay then, I'll head out. Great. Bye. So we are in our little, like, farm village. And we're going to talk with the blacksmith, apparently. The farrier. Oops, sorry, chicken. I really did not see you there. Henrietta Clucksmith. That's her name. I've, I've called the chicken that. We're going to head over here, talk with our blacksmith, our farrier, the shoesmith. Person that puts horseshoes on our ponies. There we go. We're going to stand here and we are going to get off this horse. If I can remember how, press R to dismount. No issue whatsoever. The horse better stay where it is. I didn't appreciate it wandering off last time. Julia, the blacksmith. 
Hello there. You're a face I haven't seen yet. Welcome. I'm Julia. Hello. What can I help you with? Uh, I come from the horse farm just outside the village. We're running out of horseshoes. Oh, yes. You're the owner's daughter, aren't you? I remember when you were just a little pup. You know me? Darling, I've been a blacksmith for a very long time, and I've worked for your daddy for even longer than that. I've seen you when you were just a little foal, barely running on those two chubby legs. I don't remember ever coming here, to be honest. Well, you were a tiny thing, to be fair. Your dad stopped bringing you along after... Well, after your mom died, I suppose. Hmm, yeah. That makes sense. The farm was hers, really. Yes, well. Now it's yours. Let's get you those horseshoes. Thanks. So we have horseshoes. <laughs> Apparently. And now we have to go to- Where's my horse? Oh, testificate, get your bum over here. So we're gonna take the horse back to the stable and we're gonna go back to sleep. Apparently. We're gonna speed up. Come on. There we go. Get a canter going on. Your horse is in average shape. Bonding plus 10. So I need to clean my horse apparently. That's what it just told me. But the horse is going to bed anyway. So we're just going to slow down. Get her down to a, him even. Get way. Get him down to a trot. Put him in the stable and we're going to go to sleep and I think we're going to call it a night because I don't want to ruin this game for everybody else who's going to play it. This is just an introduction. Slow down. Stand, please. Horse has stopped you to a steep slope. It's called a wall. Remove the saddle. Don't wander off. Don't you dare. No, don't put that back on the pony. That was my fault, 100%. I wanted to take that off. And then I wanted to brush the horse. That's all I wanted to do. We're going to brush the pony. Make it happy. We're going to pet it. It's going to love it and give us a rub back. And we are going to pet the horse. There we go. We're going to close the gate. And we are going to head back to the farmhouse and go get some sleep. Chickens, go get some sleep. So, yeah, this has been a really cool game. Go to bed, go to sleep. Quest complete. Oh, he's calling again. Should we do another one? I think we should. Hey, what's up? It's high time you start taking care of some of the management of the farm. Your dad sent you here for a reason, and you've played with horses long enough. I played with horses? What do you need me to do? We'll start with something easy. Go clean out the horse stalls. Get them ready for new horses. Okay, I'm on it. So, yeah, we're going to do a little bit more, I think. Why not? We're going to buy a pitchfork and pick up some poop. Simple as that. Uh, go over here. Shop, items, pitchfork, purchased, order, yes. I think deliveries come over here. Open the chest, yep, pitchfork, there it is, oh, come back, go there. I'm going to close that up. And we are going to poop, pick. Poop. Number two, poop. Poop. I'm gonna pick up three, apparently. I might as well get rid of it all while I'm here, so let's do that. One more. Then we need to buy some hay and put it down in the stall. So I'm going to have to buy more 
hay as well. So let's go back over here to the chest where all our items seem to appear. Get some hay, purchase, order, yes. Um, yes. So go over here. Open over there. Picked it up. Put the hay down in the horse stall. I mean, this just gets you used to the game and how to learn to do everything. Um, hold the mouse right button to put the item down. There we go. Quest completed. And apparently we're meant to go to a mill and get some feed. So yeah, this is My Horse Bonded Spirits. It is available on Steam that I know of. I believe the 19th of June 2024. If you like horses, definitely give it a go. Like 100% give it a go. But yeah, I've been Vicky from Tales from Trails. Hope you liked my video. If you found it useful in some way, shape or form, feel free to subscribe. All the best. And happy trails out there.